guys! Welcome to another day of bright, sunny Colorado in January. This was part of my book to movies adaptation reading 2015 thing. I started with The Last Apprentice and I think the movie is The Seventh Son. So it's a junior fiction book. Um, however, I'd be cautious about what, who reads it, just because there's a lot of death and gruesome scenes and just if you're concerned about it with your child um, I'd read it with them or read it first. So it starts off with um, this boy and I think he's 13 um, and he's the seventh son of a seventh son. His family owns a farm and having sons on a farm is good because um, they can help you with milking cows and feeding the pigs and doing crops and everything. Um, however, once they get older, um, it's a lot harder to care for them. So they're trying to get them to go into trades and um, become apprentices and leave the farm. It's Tom's turn and his father asks the town spook, which is like the little wizard um, of the area, to take him in and make him into a spook um, so that he can help the town and free them from ghosts and stuff. He goes along with the guy and the guy says you have a one month um, like probationary period and if you like it and I think you're a good worker then I'll keep you. I really liked it but it's there's a lot of gruesome bits. It was a little graphic for what I would consider to be junior fiction but it was really good. I liked the author's writing style. I felt that it was very much so geared towards younger children. Um, short, simple sentence structures. Any large words were explained completely and not in an annoying way. I'm actually really intrigued by the storyline um, and it is part of a series. Um, Revenge of the Witch is the first one. It's one of the books that I'm going to be reading the whole series for just because it's actually really interesting. The learning bit, it's two parts. The learning bit at the beginning I felt was not adequate enough. Like I felt like he needed a lot more training before he had to deal with the stuff that he had to deal with. Um, but on the other hand there was a lot of training in the book. Like there's just a lot of fluff before we actually got to the witchy part. I did give it a 5 out of 5 on Goodreads because I enjoyed it so much and I hope to enjoy the rest of the series. And that's pretty much it. I really liked it. felt it was appropriate for middle school age. Um, and I do recommend it to anyone over the age of like 11 or 12. Um, I am open to comments about this book and how you felt about it. Maybe you didn't like it. I don't know. Alright, so a little add-on. It has been a long time since I recorded um, The Last Apprentice video, but I feel like I needed to make this too, so we're gonna tack it on at the end. After reading the book, I was super excited to go watch this movie. Um, and I had a friend who also read The Last Apprentice, like, when he was little, and I was like, we should totally go! He was like, cool! So we went to the cheapy little Elvis theater um, where it's like $3.50 or like $4 or something for a ticket. We tried to get there 15 minutes early but we instead got there 15 minutes late. So we only missed like maybe five minutes at the beginning of the movie but that was slightly irritating. Maybe 30 minutes in this guy on the other side of the aisle started snoring and we had to deal with that for the rest of the movie. So that was also an irritator. My boyfriend and my friend's wife have no idea what's going on. They're, they've never read the books, they have no history, they just wanted to go to a movie with us. I hated that movie <laughs> so much. I regret giving them my money. It was, it was awful. Um, one, they did not stick with the plot line of the book very much at all. I'm not sure, but I feel like they incorporated, they didn't just stick with the first book and they incorporated other stuff. Kind of like this um, series of unfortunate events where they kind of 
smush three or four books into one movie. Acting was moderately okay. Like there, there, were, there weren't a lot of times where I was like, dude, you suck. The um, main female character, I just could not. I hated her as an actress, as a person. I just wanted her to not be there at all. Their whole relationship, I was not, no, I, n no. <laughs> the whole movie, I just, oh! I mean, they're young children in the first book. They're not like in a relationship, so that was frustrating. On top of it, he's like magically old now. Like, he's in a, his teens and like mature and he's not, no, I needed him to be much younger. The witch's like stronghold thing they had going on, what? It went from one family of three witches and some guy in a small like little farmhouse and a barn and a little bit of land to like this centuries old mansion in the mountains and like intricate stonework and like a whole thing and I I just what I was thoroughly unhappy with the movie the whole time I was watching it there were like maybe five five minute spots throughout the whole thing that I was like, I like this, it's nice. The rest of it was just like, there was no explanation. If you didn't understand what was going on and you hadn't read the book, no. As someone who read just the first book, I was still mostly lost. They don't explain like the spook's little like cage burial things for all the creatures or the house or anything at all related to anyone, ever. It was so poorly done and I hate it. It doesn't change my opinion of the books, I still intend to complete the series, but that movie, it ruined <laughs> like my whole night. I spent maybe two hours afterwards just talking about how much I hated it. <laughs> No, and uh, they have this, they have Tusk on their side, which doesn't make any sense. I am just, I flip over a table, <laughs> like, thoroughly done with that movie. But that's my movie review for the year. <laughs> oh man, it makes me never want to watch a movie adaptation ever again. Please subscribe. <laughs> Thank you for listening to my rant. Yeah, I've got all my links down below. Goodreads. Whatever else. Please tell me your opinions of the Seventh Son movie. Let me know I'm not crazy, that it really sucked a whole lot and I just... Did the first five minutes make a difference? Is that what I'm getting? I... Yeah. Well, I will see you again soon with another video. It's hopefully less annoying and less depressing. <laughs>